Welcome back. It's 10 minutes after 8 o'clock. Oh, do you hear the jingle bells? I know. We still have Thanksgiving to get through. Uh, it's less than three weeks away. And then right after that, it's going to be Christmas. And here with tips to make your home look festive and impress your guests and neighbors, we have Ashley Johnson, who's an associate with the Home Depot. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming on. Thank We're going to do a little DIY here yes, today, right? A little do-it-yourself yes. that you guys offer at the store as sure well, this weekend, right? There's mm -hmm. something coming yes. up at the store? Um, November 8th, this Saturday, 10 o'clock to 11.30 a.m. Which location? University, University okay. City. Okay, yeah. and you're going to be showing folks how to make what we're going to be making here live mm -hmm. uh, in studio now. What is yeah. this? Um, this is yard decor, a yeah. holiday tree. Um, it lights up. It's good for the holiday, easy to make. And this is the mm -hmm. final product yes, here. Yes, this is. This is how we start. So mm -hmm. yep. what did you do to, to get the, the Christmas tree all um, shaped I out? I took a two by four, um, a half inch thick plywood, okay. and I drew it out with my lumber pencil, and I used a jigsaw for my straight edge cuts, and then I used this Dremel drill for the shorter ones. Okay, so and that's how you make that nice sharp mm -hmm. Yep. And I there. drew this by myself, but we also have a template online that you can print off as And this well. is pretty easy to use? Yep, it sure is, and I have this little attachment here, good for cutting all surfaces. So even though I'm not an expert at cutting wood, I wouldn't lose any fingers no, you losing sure this, wouldn't. right? Okay, yep. <laughs> okay, that's a good thing. Okay, so you cut out your Christmas tree shape. Yep, and then the next step, you take this and you put it on its edge like this. Okay. And you just line it up, and you want the post to stick out a little bit so it'll go into the ground. To the ground, okay. Mm -hmm. And then you use a sledgehammer at the end to put it in. So, so we're lining up two holes that you drilled in here. Mm -hmm. Yes, those are pre-drilled. Okay. And then we are going to take just one of these screws right here. All right. And want me to hold it yep, in place? Yep, I sure do. Yep. All right. All right. And here we go. Okay. Drill that in Hello. <laughs> uh -oh. Doesn't want to quite go in. Need a little oh. There we got okay. it now. All right. And then you do the same thing for the step, um, the one at the top. You want to go ahead and give this a shot? Um, sure. Okay. Or I can I think just... We have time. Might All as right. well. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can. A little closer here. All right. You got it. Okay. I got it. I All think. Right. Just in there for me. Yes. There you go. It's going. Uh, okay, there you go. good deal. Okay. All right. Woo, this is fun. Yep, and so the next <laughs> step after that, you take your mini ice Christmas lights here. Okay. And you want to make sure your drill bit is the same size as the lights. Okay, so you're making little holes mm -hmm. to insert the actual yep. and on, into it. Yep, and on the back side, you want to go ahead and put just a little mark so you know where you want to put your lights. Okay. And then you want to drill the final hole for the lights through the front side so you don't get splintering on the front. So you mark it on the back, mm -hmm. but drill yep. it through the front. Yep, I'll go ahead and show you. You want to use um, a drill bit that is the same size as your light, so they're not all wobbly. Sure. And they don't fall out here. So let me just switch this. And in. this is what what it would look like if mm -hmm. you yep. get the uh, lights yep. through the hole And there. for that tree, I used um, battery-powered lights just so I could you know, show it for you. Okay. All yeah, right. so here are the lights that... Uh, we're going to end up inserting there into the tree. Okay, I hope I don't drop the tree. There we go. <laughs> all okay. right, if you want to all go ahead and make my little hole. I started at the bottom for my tree. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. We'll just make a little mark right here. Okay. And just not, you don't want to go all the way through it. Just put a small little bit. Okay. All right. And we're going to flip it over here. Can you see where you made the hole there? Uh, like so you kind of have to use your judgment a little yeah, bit mm -hmm. from the front Yeah, side. I keep my finger on it just so I can make sure because I don't want to drill all the way through because the wood will split. Okay. All right, so just hold it one more time for me. All right, we're going to probably have to wrap after this. <laughs> Go ahead, make that. All right, you got it? Yep, I got it. All right, and then you put it in reverse. Take it Get out. It out. Yep. All right. Yep. And the lights will go. We'll just pop right on through there. What a neat little project yep. that uh, 
uh, you can learn how to do this sure weekend can. when you go to the University City location mm -hmm. of Home Depot. What time was that uh, workshop again? 10 o'clock through 11.30. 10. And we offer um, workshops every first, second, and third Saturday and every second and fourth Sunday of the month. Excellent. And we do plenty of things, um, deck staining, yeah. gardening, anything. It's a great. range of do-it-yourself yep. stuff. Mm -hmm. So things are just easy to do at home. You just need a little instruction and Home Depot can give it to you. Yep. Thank you, Ashley, no for problem. coming in and I love the final product. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back right after this break on WBTV News This Morning on Bounce. I'm